focus on that squeeze up the top. If you ain't getting that squeeze up the top, pretty much you're just losing your range of motion. You want to get the full range of motion. You want to squeeze up the top and then lower it back down eccentric. All right. All right guys, then we did do some tricep extensions slash press downs. So we did four sets of 15, two sets of 15 being the tricep extensions, and then the other two sets of 15 we did with the straight bar, um, overhand and underhand. I prefer the underhand because I feel it in my triceps more versus the overhand with the straight bar. You guys comment down below and tell me which, which uh, preference you like better, which one works better for you, whether it's the overhand or underhand grip. So with this exercise, I believe triceps are all about full range of motion. That's just my opinion. Some people like to do partial reps, believe in keeping tension on the muscle. I believe that's true, but to me, I feel like uh, I'm cheating, so I really do like to get a full range of motion coming all the way back up, extending down, uh, stretching and splitting the rope at the bottom. So I feel I really feel like I get a really good squeeze at the bottom when I do that and then I'm getting a full range of motion uh, in my tricep. So you guys give this a shot. I know you probably already do but if you don't just do the the rope go ahead and throw the straight bar in there too. Uh, mix it up. Like I said you always want to mix up your exercises. The body adapts quickly so you do whatever exercise you want to do. In this case we're doing tricep extensions and press downs. Make sure you hit the tricep from all angles, uh, from different variations. That way you are guaranteed the maximal growth. Creep ass move. All right, guys, then we did do some tape presses for five sets of 12. For some people, this is an unusual exercise, but I did incorporate this into my arm regimen, and this is our first time trying it, me and Jacob. Uh, I thought it worked pretty good. Some people may think it's a chest exercise, but it is the exact opposite. This is a tricep exercise. Of course, you just want to press and turn out at the top. Like any tricep exercise, you just want to get that really good squeeze at the top, that extended full range of motion. So guys, go ahead and give this a shot. And once you do, let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you think it's better than any of the other tricep exercises uh, that you did. I barely started doing this, so I think it was pretty good. I got a one hell of a burn and one hell of a pump out of this exercise. Um, I would definitely recommend that you guys incorporate it. So give it a shot and let me know what you think. I'm definitely gonna say that it's true gains approved. Go ahead, check it out.
Then guys, we did do some single arm bicep curls, um, some isolation curls, three sets of 12 each arm. The bicep isolation curls are a really good exercise because it just makes the bicep do all of the work. As the prime mover, it doesn't allow uh, stronger muscles like the deltoids to come in and take place, allowing you to cheat the weight up. Um, the biceps are forced to work harder, pretty much which leads to a better pump and more muscle gain. So if you guys haven't tried this, go ahead and give it a shot. Then guys, we did end it with some preacher curls, uh, four sets of 15, two sets of 15 being inverted, which are like reverse preacher curls. You do, like I said, want to hit uh, the biceps from every angle possible, different variations besides just the regular preacher curls. That way the muscles, there's different tension on the muscle and allowing it to lengthen much longer involving for a better contraction. Uh, the main focus of the preacher curl pretty much is the brachialis in this movement. Um, we did do four sets of 15, of course, uh, the ones that Jacob's doing right now, two sets of 15 being regular, and then the other ones being inverted. So if you guys have not tried the inverted, don't forget to switch up the variations and go ahead and give that a try. It definitely is more challenging, but you do need to introduce the body and the biceps to more intense stress than what it's already adapted to if you want the muscle to grow.